Did you catch that literal Game of Thrones Easter egg in this week's House of the Dragon? The prequel series just delivered a major plot point for Daenerys Targaryen, Emilia Clarke, 200 years in the making. In Sunday's third episode of Season 2, Gott's Mother of Dragons story begins in a blink and you'll miss it moment that has now been confirmed by the House of the Dragon director. In the episode, Renera Targaryen, Emma Darcy, makes the decision to send her youngest children away for their safety as the threat of war looms. She tasks Rena Targaryen, Phoebe Campbell, with accompanying her sons Aegon and Viserys to the Vale, along with their young dragons Tyraxes and Stormcloud, as well as four valuable but fragile dragon eggs. Renera hopes that by sending the young away, they can eventually travel to Pintos, but Rena is not happy with her new mission. However, Rena has no idea just how important her trip will be, because the dragon eggs she's helping keep safe will eventually end up in the hands of Pintoshi merchant Illyrio Mopatis, Roger Alum, who will then give them to Daenerys in the pilot of God. And we all know what happens next. Three of those eggs will ultimately hatch into the formidable trio of Drogon, Regal, and Viserion. Those are Daenerys' eggs, Episode 3's director Geet Avasant Patel revealed to Mashable. All of us who work on this show are big Game of Thrones fans, so it was very exciting to shoot that scene. Fan speculation online points to the fourth egg, hatching into a dragon that will participate in the events of House of the Dragon. This origin story is different from how author George R. R. Martin implied in Fire and Blood. In the book, it's suggested that Daenerys' eggs took a different route, landing in Essos long before the Dance of the Dragons began thanks to noblewoman Alyssa Farman, who stole three dragon eggs from Dragonstone after her relationship with Princess Rena Targaryen, different from House of the Dragons Rena, ended badly. Alyssa then sold the eggs in Bravos. Where the eggs travel from there is vague in the source material, and it's never been confirmed. But Daenerys herself likely won't see her own dragon's origin story play out on screen, as G.O.T. Alum Clark previously revealed she won't watch House of the Dragon, even though the prequel series is all about her family line, the Targaryens. It's too weird, Clark said. I'm so happy it's happening. I'm so over the moon about all the awards. The actress also gave a shout out to Miguel Sapiknik, the co-showrunner on House of the Dragon Season 1 who worked with Clark directing some of the most beloved episodes of God. Sapiknik has since stepped down from showrunning duties on Season 2 and beyond. Love him. Brilliant. Wonderful, Clark said. I just can't do it. It's so weird. It's so strange. It's kind of like someone saying, you want to go to this school reunion that's not your year? You want to go to that school reunion? That's kind of how it feels. I'm avoiding it. New episodes of House of the Dragon Season 2 drop on HBO and Max on Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time slash Pacific Time.